Hi guys, welcome back to the Only Aki's YouTube channel. Finished here today, Aki's 1, Rangers 4. And a game that pretty much followed the pattern of every other Aki's game we've seen for the last few weeks. Hamilton can play for about 60 minutes and then we crumble. When the lineup was first announced today, no Aki fan were happy about it. To be honest, Steve Davies starting eh, out of nowhere, not being involved in the squad for the last two games. Andy Winter getting his first start eh, for Hamilton, Hamilton against the old firm is not really what you're looking for. Eh, but the lineup was changed. Pretty much within half an hour when Aki's made two subs eh, thanks to injury. Andy Dales came off for Mikel Miller who was then in turn substituted at half time for Blair Alston. And Steve Davies came off for Marius Ogunpo. Now that's something fitness is obviously a serious issue with Hamilton. Not only is it because we can only last for say 60 minutes and then all the players are fucked. But also the fact that Steve Davies um, hasn't been involved in the squad for the past two weeks. Now I'm assuming that's from injury however I don't know. But he he lasted 30 minutes and he was he was done he was finished now when he first joined Aki's fans knew we were not going to get 90 minutes out of him that's we weren't going to do that he wasn't fit enough we were going to get 60 and for those 60 he was good he was winning the headers bringing the balls down laying it off that's what that's what he should be doing but lately we're lucky if we get 60 like I said today we'll look at 30 so half of that um, his fitness is terrible and the fitness of the squad is terrible and I think that's pretty evident to see uh, to be honest Rangers deserved winners today dominated possession and dominated the chances however I thought Aki's did Help hold their own for most of the game uh, very similar to the Celtic result which funnily enough also ended 4-1 we played, we held our own for the majority of the game but then we crumbled near the end and that's what happened uh, I'm told that Aki should have been given a penalty, Connor Goldson handling the ball in the box, I'm told that should have been a penalty, uh, however wasn't given, Rangers got a penalty, obviously Jamie Hamilton bringing in Alfredo Morelos, now Jamie Hamilton, that's twice he's played against the old firm, and twice he's made mistakes that have cost goals, um, so obviously Celtic, he brought Lee, he dragged Lee, Lee Griffiths down, and that uh, result in free kick, he got sent off, and that result in free kick was the goal, and then today uh, he brings Alfredo Morelos down in the box and you know Alfredo Morelos and Lee Griffiths are going to go down as the touch of a hat, which, which they showed uh, and it's a penalty I'm not denying that it's a penalty that's that that's how it is uh, but that's twice two mistakes against the old firms both have led to goals I get he's a young guy and he does show a, a hell of a lot of promise I understand that but He's, but he's a bomb skater, he really, really is. And I think it's purely down to age. He's only 17 years old, man. It's purely down to age. I don't think he should be coming into the squad to prove himself in these kind of games. And, and let's be honest, the only reason people like Andy Winter played is because it was on the telly. That's that's Aki's mantra, you know, uh, promote the young players. But like I said, I thought Aki's held their own for the majority of the game, but much similar to Celtic, we crumbled near the end. Overall, a poor performance. It, it was. There was one uh, part of the game, the second half of the first half, uh, where Aki's were actually had the momentum. They got our, We got our goal, and we were pushing and pushing and pushing. We had the chances. That's when Conor Goldson handed the ball in the box, and the penalty wasn't given. So that would have changed the game obviously I was going ahead would it have changed the result who knows that's 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 you know that, that's guesswork nobody knows that um, but definitely would have gave us a little bit of security I think because it means if they did score the worst that could happen is a replay unless obviously they score more I thought Brian Easton was unplayable today I thought he was absolutely fantastic and he was my man in the match uh, had Alfredo Morelos in his pocket for the majority of the game they gave it to Scott McMahon who had again I think had a really good really good game but Brian Easton takes it for me I'm really disappointed actually, um, you know, we're, we're fed the party line that Aki's going to take the cup seriously this year and they put that line up out and it doesn't work out and I think, you know, starting people like Steve Davies and, uh, and Andy Winter didn't do us any uh, any favours. Um, the game changed when Marius Ogunpo came on. Um, I thought he was again. He was, he was brilliant today. I really did. Um, Golgic again, good in midfield. Will Collar is 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 struggling right now. Really, really is. Blair Alston came on for Mika Miller at half time, and I couldn't have told you he was playing. He's a, he, he was a passenger in that game and has been recently. Uh, I think there are a few players who can hold their heads high. You know, like I said, Brian Easton, Scott McMahon. I think um, Golgic as well. But Golgic is. I love Gogic, I really, really do, but the guy just runs about like a headless chicken, I think, sometimes. I think if he, if he was better positionally, if he was better positionally, he'd be a much better player.
but he's playing well recently in terms of breaking up the play I just think that we were overrun and the game changed when Marius Ogunpo came on and I think he should have started um, I'm not saying that would have changed the result like I said Rangers deserve to win however that's something Aki's fans want to see is us taking these kind of competitions seriously and it didn't seem that the lineup was showing that today in terms of the fans themselves I think hats off to the fans who actually came to the game today seriously hats off to you guys um, we're surrounded by Rangers fans in the home end and it's, it's a big problem I, the way where I was sitting um, was pretty near the divide between uh, Aki's and Rangers fans and they're so quite clearly Rangers fans in the Aki's end and when they scored all you had to do was look around and see who was standing up and there was a good few dotted around the ground um, it's, it, it's a big problem it's a big big problem uh, and something that hopefully is sorted for the future will it be? I doubt it who knows though we'll have to wait and see uh, it doesn't happen at any other ground though only seems to be Aki's to get away with it. But like I said, hats off to the Aki's fans who came today. Um, you guys deserve so much more praise than the club are going to give you. You really, really do. Um, people saying they are, they, they are choosing not to come to Old Firm Games because they're, they're, they're intimidated by sitting in the home end because you know there's going to be away fans. That should not be happening. That is not something that should be allowed to happen. You are too scared to go to your home game to sit in the home stand. Something's wrong. Uh, and that's something the club need to sort out and there needs to be something there has to be something where you can fix this issue like the fact they started selling tickets at the game you know that's inviting people and there i seen folk outside uh, who were you know um, rangers fans who were selling tickets to the Aki's end like that what is that all about i think it's ridiculous um but you know, trying to focus on the actual game itself, um, looking at the replays, uh, Aki should have got a penalty. Rangers did get their penalty. I'm just disappointed. I really am. I thought that I actually was very optimistic coming up to the Rangers game. I, I did think that you know if we put our strongest lineup out, I think we could cause them issues, and uh, and, we, and we could possibly nick a result. And when the lineup came out, that optimism, like many others, dropped completely. On to the injuries. That's three big. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's two big injuries. I think that are that are really going to struggle is obviously Steve Davies we know he's not fit enough so who knows what's going to happen to him he'll be gone at the end of the season I suspect um, Mikael Muller came off with injury um, which is a, a real shame at half time he did go back on uh, for the final five minutes of the half but did eventually come off but there's nothing you can do now guys we've lost we're out the cup it's time to focus purely on the league and our chances of staying up we go to uh, Aberdeen on Tuesday night I won't be there and for it's Aberdeen is just, just a little bit too far for me just to say to the fans I know you're disappointed and I know you're angry but the last thing we can do is turn against the club and turn against the players we need to stay positive focus on the league you know try and stay up this is what it's all about now uh, if we can do that if we can focus on the league now we don't have the cup to worry about if we can get behind them I think we will stay up um, so please don't you know point your anger at the club or anything let's, let's get behind the team try and get as many people to as many games games as we can and show our support for the players once they stay up that's when we can talk about the actual club itself listen thank you very guys thank you guys very much for watching thank you for the support on the paul mcdonald interview if you haven't seen it it's on the channel go and check it out it's brilliant thank you to those who have watched it and said some nice things that's lovely um go ahead and follow us on all our social media uh, which are all linked down below and i'll see you next time